today as it prepares to give millions of Americans COVID vaccine booster shots. The decision of which booster shot to give, when to start the shot, and who will get them is left to the scientists and the doctors. That's what happened here. Pfizer boosters are already going into arms today after the CDC updated its guidance. People 65 and older and adults with underlying medical conditions are among the eligible groups. CBS 46 is Megan Packer. She's live at a DeKalb County pharmacy. And Megan, today they say they have been busy. Sean, they have. The phones have been ringing. People have a lot of questions, wondering when they can come in here to get their booster dose. They've already given some boosters here today already. I spoke with pharmacist Neil Wiseman. He's been fielding a lot of questions from curious customers, helping them determine if they are eligible. The new guidance for boosters is only for people who received Pfizer for their first two doses. After days of debate from panels of advisors, we told you the CDC now recommends boosters for people 65 and older, long-term term care facility residents and people 50 to 64 with underlying conditions. They also say 18 to 64 year olds with underlying medical conditions and those who work in settings where they're at an increased risk of exposure may get the booster as well. That includes teachers and health care workers. Boosters are great and this is awesome getting people continue to stay protected, but getting these individuals that never got it, getting them started and kind of progressing the whole herd immunity is, is the key here. So again, this new guidance is just for people who received Pfizer shots for their first and second doses. There are, is already a small group of people who can get an additional Moderna dose, uh, including people who have had an organ transplant and with compromised immune systems. The CDC says as soon as data is out for J&J &J and Moderna shots, they will review that just as quickly as they tried to do it with Pfizer. Live along Claremont Road in DeKalb County, I'm Megan Packer, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Megan.